What, What is up, up everyone? everyone? Welcome, Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and God sense. It's your good heart, PA Simon, once again, and welcome to our channel, Canva Play. Here, we will share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. For those who are new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel if you find it helpful and get updated on the latest posts we share here from time to time by turning on your notifications. A fantasy is something we imagine like dragons, unicorns, fairies, dwarfs, giants, and other magical beings. Fantasy is dreams and imagination. We see most of them in fantasy movies like Alice in Wonderland, The Hobbit, and The Lord of the Rings, Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Have you watched any of it? These movies travel us to another realm. This idea leads us to creating a fantasy wings concept of a design, a wings that a bird has, and impossible a human to have it unimaginable to see a human with wings but if created like what is in the designs you will see and you will find it magical and beautiful to see this is what my tutorial for today is all about it's entitled fantasy wings effect we will do this design of course here in our favorite tool canva i will not make this introduction long and start designing in canva these are the samples that i will create I am now in a blank Canva design editor. We usually do our designs using 1080 by 1350 pixel size or vertical Instagram size. This time for this tutorial, I choose to use a Canva page size of 1280 by 720 pixel size or YouTube thumbnail size for the reason of showing you the whole look of the design that I will create. Wings occupy space and I needed a long horizontal space to show you the entire look of it. First thing to do is drag a photo from Uploads. I got this photo from other stock photo sites and uploaded it to Canva. Using this photo, I'll duplicate this one. Using the duplicated image, under Edit Image, I'll click Background Remover to remove its background. If you are using the pro version of user of Canva, you can automatically remove the background under edit image. If you are a free version user, you can use the free alternative background remover like remove.bg. I will put in the description box below the link to this alternative. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. I will align the two images with the photo of, of the person with the background. I will select them all and drag them to occupy the whole page. I'll lock them. I will now create the first sample of Fantasy Wings. I will go to Photos. Search for this brand code. Type in brand colon. All capital B A E V F E E I E eight eight plus wings. This kind of keywords cannot be found under photos by just merely searching. You need to do a deep search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva. We have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known and deep searched to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day-to-day -day designs. Going back, here are the various kinds of fantasy wings to choose from. Mostly, you can find under this brand codes birds and fairy wings. In this design, I want to choose this one and the keyword is 
colorful abstract bird wings. I will position the left part of the wings first with the image to get the exact position of it. I notice that the orientation of it needs to be upward, so I will flip it vertically like this and I will tilt it clockwise or to the right 20 degrees. Let me tilt it first here. Now I will duplicate these wings. Set it here at the side and I will flip it horizontally and rotate it counterclockwise at negative 20 degrees. I will position the two backward. To check, I will adjust them. and put them on the right position. I think it looks fine with me. Now I will group them together. I'll create a new page and drag the wings I created on this second page. I drag these wings to this new page because I will enhance the wings look. Actually, you can do it there with the image above, but I want you to see in details how I will do this. Using these elements, I will duplicate them twice. One, two. I'll select them all and position them middle center to align them together. You can create more duplicates if you want. It depends on how you want the wings to be visible. Select them all. Ungroup. And then select group them again. To make them as one wing. Now I'll drag it back to the original design above. Here. And position them backward after I position them perfectly. As my final touch, I want to put an element on her hand to complete the fantasy look. So I will go to elements and search for soft light. Go to graphics and I will choose this yellow one. The key word of this element is golden soft light effect transparent design element. I will now position it on her palm and send the element backward. Now the design looks more dramatic. Take a quick look of the Fantasy Wings design number one I created. Create another page. And now we will do another example for our Fantasy Wings effect. Go to Uploads again. Select a photo. I got this photo from other stock photo sites and uploaded it to Canva. Using this photo, I'll duplicate it once more. And using the duplicated image, under Edit Image, I'll background remove it using the background remover. I will align the image without the background to the ones with the background. I'll select them all and drag them to occupy the whole page again. After that lock, I will now create the fantasy wings the effect design on this photo. I will go to photos, 
This time, I'll search for the keyword fantasy wings. You will find lots of wings underneath. Mostly you can find here angel wings and fantasy wings. And I want to use a black wings, this one, to match the masculine look of the man. I will click this one, keyword of this is untitled. But you can find this under the keyword I provided, which is fantasy wings. This wings has a complete set of wings, so there's no need for me to create a two-part wing. I will now send this wing backward. I'll just drag the wing element and position it with the image. I think I am now satisfied with the position. So that's it, done. Take a quick look of the fantasy wings effect design number two I created. Create another page for the design number three. This time I will use an abstract fractal wings. Drag a photo from uploads. I'll choose this photo. And I got this photo again from other stock photo sites and uploaded it to Canva. I'll set the image as my background. This time, this photo that I chose is a photo of a fantasy woman turned her back or facing backward so I can show you the kind of wings from a back view. Now, I will go to Photos and search for Abstract Fractal Wings. This time, type in Abstract Fractal Wings. And now, you will find various Abstract Fractal Wings to choose from. I will pick the first photo. The keyword of this is gradient abstract fractal wings i'll select it position it perfectly here and i will rotate it negative 55 counterclockwise or to the left now i will duplicate this photo for the other part of the wing. Set it here for you to see. I'll flip it horizontally and I'll rotate it opposite. Now clockwise. Fifty-five degrees. Position them perfectly at the back. I'll group them together and lock them. I will get another wings from photos using the exact keywords and this time I'll choose this fourth for a photo which is the keyword of this is purple abstract fractal wings i'll position them the same degrees as my first group of wings that i created position it here i'll duplicate it again flip it horizontally and rotate it now the, the opposite degree of the first wing which is 55 degrees and place it here I 
I'll select them all, group them, and position them backward. Done. Take a quick look of the Fantasy Wings design number 3 I created. Again, take a look again on the three samples of the Fantasy Wings effect. Sample 1 Sample 2 Sample 3 That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, your good art VA, saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky, God sent VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Pinky with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.